Good morning. It's Thursday, June 29th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Searching for Joy, Part 5. And our scripture is Philippians chapter 1, where the Apostle Paul is writing to his loved friends at Philippi. And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So it is right that I should feel as I do about all of you, for you have a special place in my heart. You share with me the special favor of God, both in my imprisonment and in defending and confirming the truth of the good news. Being assured of some things in life is a necessity. Without a certain amount of confidence, you cannot function like God intended. What are you absolutely certain about? Death and taxes? Government corruption? Long Sunday sermons? What really important things are you certain about? You know, stuff that will still matter a hundred years from now. Paul was convinced about salvation. Romans chapter 8. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons. Neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Are you that certain of heaven? If you are, let me remind you that heaven is a place better than any other, and it's yours. Listen, if that doesn't produce genuine joy in your soul, your joy bone is broken. There's a certain joy about participating together in kingdom work. There's a camaraderie that develops when people work together. Now, there's no doubt that you can certainly experience cooperative spirit and a family atmosphere in your job or civic work or helping a neighbor, but there's nothing better than kingdom work sharing in God's vineyard. The reason is that we not only participate together, we participate together in the grace of God. This letter to the Philippian church, it's a call to the community of faith away from our isolation. It's a call to self-denying serving away from our selfish ways. It's a call to standing for Christ-likeness and godly living despite today's pluralistic trends. It's a call to respect and cooperation between men and women of God and all persons, a partnership in the gospel. And it is, thankfully, a call away from Mudville, a place of no joy into the matchless joy of the kingdom of God. And there we would find our purpose, our peace, our prayers in partnership, our persuasion, our participation in the gospel, and our joy real joy. For you today, let's end our time today with a prayer. Father, often we are so flat and joyless. That's so different than what Jesus told his first disciples, that he had come and shared with them so that his joy would be in them and their joy would be complete. Jesus, our prayer is, talk to us like that. Place your joy in us. Fill us so that it's bubbling up from within and running all over anybody we meet. We pray in the name of the Father, because of the Son, cooperating with the Spirit. Amen. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.